for listening to Fizzies. My name is Christina, and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today is Classic Movie Thursdays here on my channel, my version of Throwback Thursdays. And today's classic movie I will be reviewing is called Les Diaboliques, which is a foreign movie from 1950s. The story takes place at a school for boys somewhere in France in like a small village and it is run by a very cruel man named Michel de la Salle and he had started the school based off of the money that his wife Christina played by Vera Clouseau had brought into the marriage when she married Michel and he is just a really big jerk and nobody likes him he like really rules with an iron fist everybody's afraid of him and we see at the beginning of the story that apparently he has now beaten another female teacher nicole ornay played by simone signore i believe that's how you pronounce her name i apologize for totally butchering it and it's actually weird a lot of the male staff because uh, christina and Cole are really the only female teachers and staff in the school. They all begin to discuss what's going on because Christina and Nicole are actually like talking to each other. Christina comforts Nicole and she's like, look, he was never like this when we were married, when we were first married, he was so nice and I can't believe he's doing this to you. Both wife and mistress have had enough with Michelle, like he's just so cruel to them and so abusive that Nicole actually comes up with the idea to kill him and Christina's like, no, I can't do that, she's very religious, I think she's supposed to be from like Spain or something and she just, that goes against everything, she doesn't want to go to hell and divorce really isn't in the Catholic religion since she follows it so strictly and Michelle knows this he knows that Christina will never divorce him she won't kill him and he always says to her that she'll probably die before him anyway because she has a bad heart but Christina is so desperate to be free of Michelle and get away from his grasp that she goes along with it. She goes back to Nicole's home village and actually calls up Michelle from there and is like, Hey, I want to divorce you. I've had enough. And he's like, Oh, I'm coming down to Nicole's place right away. Like, he's so furious with her. And he's like, Even more furious because his wife is with his mistress. Nicole hatches a plan that she's gonna put some like sedative in his wine and then they're gonna drown him in the tub. And Nicole doesn't live in a very, like, big village. It's small, everyone knows each other, the neighbors are very nosy, and, you know, there's certain things the neighbors notice. So Michelle comes to the apartment, and he's like, you know, he's telling Christina, he's like, you don't have the guts to do this, you're weak, and then he's trying to be, like, all nice to her and everything like that, but then he, like, smacks her in the face and, and everything, and finally, Christina's like, oh, screw this, like, let him drink that, because at first she was like, no, don't do it, and then she's like, mm, nope, go ahead, and he does pass out, and Nicole comes back, because she had gone to, like, create an alibi and went to sit with her neighbors, and they put him in the tub, and she drowns him, and then they decide to take him back to the school, so that's all I'm really gonna give you for Diabolique, because just the way the rest of the movie plays out i really really don't want to spoil it for you like i will give you this though is that you know, this murder is just it eats away at christina's consciousness like she keeps looking in the direction of where they put michelle's body and just things start coming up that make christina very very nervous and the twist at the end is just so, so good. Like, I love Hitchcock's endings with their twists and turns and all that, but this one, I think, has the best twist ending ever. This was directed by Henri-Georges Clouseau, and I think Clouseau made just one of the greatest suspense movies ever with Diabolique. Like, the, the ending, I can, like, I'm just... You see how flustered I'm getting. I just love 
the ending to this movie. I remember first watching it on TCM a few years ago, and I was just completely, completely floored. Like, I, I couldn't believe how amazing this was. And fun fact, Hitchcock had actually wanted this movie, but he was too slow to get the rights to it, and Clouseau only got the movie, like, an hour before Hitchcock had had a chance to get to it and actually Hitchcock really praised the movie and I think it would have worked as a Hitchcock movie but I don't think it would have worked as well had Clouseau not gotten it because Vera Clouseau who played Christina was Clouseau's wife uh, she just had this great look to her this great look of innocence and like just horror to her and then Simone Signore was like she played the perfect mistress and that perfect like other woman and you know, she played kind of like this tough girl to Christina's very like timid and weak manner everything just worked out so well the setting I, I love that it's in French I love that the French could just get away with so much more than what could have been done in America at this time in the 50s like like I said, Hitchcock probably would have made this movie really well, but I think it might have been overblown a little bit in some places had this been Hitchcock, and I, I just don't think it would have worked out the way that Clouseau's film had worked out. I love everything about his Diabolique. Uh, it just, it's fantastic. The cinematography, the direction, it's so, so suspenseful. Like, once you get to where Christina gets anxious because you're watching this woman who is so tense and so anxious and Vera Clouseau just did this great job and she makes you like incredibly anxious and to me she doesn't get on my nerves because sometimes I know when people get too anxious in movies and they, they get too tense sometimes that is just like oh my god stop you're driving me crazy not for one minute did Christina drive me crazy I thought she was such a good character she was so well played by Vera Clouseau so much props to her and the entire cast. I think this was the first movie I had ever seen Simone Signore. And honestly, I don't, I can't remember if I had seen her in anything else but Diabolique. But I really, really do enjoy her as an actress. I thought she was great. And I'm so happy that this was my introduction to her and actually to Clouseau because he is such a great director. And I really haven't seen too many more of his movies but I look forward to watching as many as I can find. So that was my review of Henri Georges Clouseau's Diabolique. If you like this review in any way please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below if you have seen Diabolique, what you think of the movie, what you think of Clouseau's direction, anything at all. Leave those in the comments and also in the comments leave your suggestions of what I should watch next for Classic Movie Thursdays or any other movies. Doesn't necessarily have have to be classic whatever you want to suggest leave them there and if I pick your movie and I review it I will give you a shout out and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future classic movie Thursdays and other movie reviews because that is what I like to do here and as always keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous <laughs>